clearly the protesters themselves and their leaders had hoped to precipitate a big enough crisis in the hopes of some kind of outside intervention. Now, what that would have been is not very, very clear. But remember, in Thailand's past, we've had both coups by the army, we've had the courts dissolving parties, forcing prime ministers to step down in very, on very questionable grounds. Uh, there was a, a, an investigation of, of at least 300, mostly government MPs, by the Anti-Corruption Commission. There are ways in which this vote could possibly have gone against the government. That hasn't happened. It's won clearly. It's got its vote through. And right now, it is difficult to see what else the protesters can do. They've carried out these very dramatic occupations of ministries throughout this week. Uh, they've got an awful lot of attention. But the government, I think, has rather skillfully avoided letting it escalate. They've given the police orders not to confront them, allowed them to do that. Uh, eventually, they've got to go home. And, and there is a deadline because next week is the birthday of King Bumipon Adunyadet. It's a, an event that nobody in Thailand is ever allowed to disrupt. Uh, and remember, remember, these protesters are also middle class people with jobs and families. Eventually, they will have to go home. And I suspect that's been the government's strategy. Knowing they could win this confidence vote, and they've done that now, they can probably wait for the protest to subside.